morning everyone. I don't know whether you're aware but Mike and I were supposed to be flying out to Harvia in the Caribbean this week. However, he had a little issue in A&E six hours before our flight and he wasn't allowed to fly. So devastating as it was, we're over it now and we're on our way on another little holiday and we're going to a boat. Not quite Arvia, but it'll do. Just gonna go for a spot of lunch, just have a quick check in, drop the bags off in the room. And a short walk and then we're in this. time for a room tour of the cabins we stayed in. The first one, the George Brown Suite, which was a classic double room, cost £110 for the night. And when we walked in, we were just blown away by the, the quality and standard of the restoration. Everything felt high-end, luxury. The bedding was fantastic. The bed was so comfortable. Uh, even these blinds, there's a really good video on their YouTube channel, Ocean Miss Lee, showing you the full process of the restoration. It cost about £2 million to restore this vessel, but just to a really good standard. Uh, we were really blown away by the quality of the, the finish, the amenities. The toiletries were high-end as well. So that was the... George Brown Suite. And then we actually stayed in the Malcolm Campbell Suite, which was a superior studio suite. It cost £125 for the night. Slightly bigger room than the other one. Not much in it really, different layout. But finished to an impeccably high standard. Very impressive all round, really. Very comfortable night stay we had. Proper blackout shutters these, they work the trees. Furnishings were all, all felt high quality. Such a comfortable bed. Can't begin to explain how comfortable that bed was. The heating system worked the trees. Then our bathroom, a different layout to the other one, but finished at the same amazing high standard. And me being from a tile background, I can appreciate what went into achieving this finish. Everything was spotlessly clean. Um, yeah, so no complaints whatsoever.
machine and we did it. So that's what she said. Well, they could just give it all to Morning from Leith Docks on this fine Friday sunny morning, not very Edinburgh weather. Um, here we are on Ocean Mist. All the gubbins. Yeah. 
So here you can see a brief history of the vessel down the years, documenting all the different uses, the different names, different owners that it's had during its very interesting history. I'll put a link to the website in the description box below. Well, what a great start we've had on our visit to the wonderful city of Edinburgh, staying on board Ocean Mist in Leith. To see what we get up to for the rest of our stay in this wonderful city, then please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.